Alright everyone, it is Cypher Wars, and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. This video is sneak peek number 4 of the upcoming Boom Beach update. It isn't like an official sneak peek, uh, but considering the fact that sneak peek number 2 and 3 were released earlier today, and you guys may or may not have some questions about those, uh, I just figured I'll make a sneak peek number 4 because there's still one more feature that I want to go over that is going to be released inside of the game. Also, if you haven't seen any of the previous sneak peek videos, it will also be linked in the video description down below. So... New feature, first and foremost, shard conversions. You will now actually be able to just get all of these fragments done into shards instantly. Usually, it would take you like 10 seconds to get it done like this, or sometimes you would end up spending like some diamonds to get it done. Really annoying, but from this point on, if you actually tap on your fragments, you can convert them. Boom! Just like that. Instantly transformed into shards. You can only do this with fragments. You cannot do this with shards. So be sure to take that into consideration. If you have less, you can do it just like that as well. If you got more than 100, you can only do up to 100 fragments. So be sure to take that into consideration. This is going to make so many people happy. I've been asking for this for months on end. And um, finally it's going to be here. This is really exciting. I cannot wait to get all of these life fragments. I have 1.500 life fragments, uh, 1.5k life fragments in my uh, sculpture. So, you know, finally that is being taken care of. So happy about this. Okay. So, um, the things I want to cover is, uh, first off, I did make the sneak peek about the, uh, ranks, of course, uh, it was like a little separate sneak peek in between, um, very in interesting change is going to be happening to the supply chest, um, after this update, the supply chest will change every 20 hours instead of 24 hours, there will be a supply chest, and every single supply chest will always give either a fragment, a shard, or a crystal, so that's really, really interesting. Another change is that now rank icons will be appearing on the map. So if you're finding a new opponent just like that, uh, Dana over here, uh, Marshall, Silver, uh, Bantam. If we refresh Bantam over here, you're going to be getting another one, another commander. Uh, so you will actually be able to see what kind of a ranks you have on your map. I think, I think it's very interesting and it will also still display uh, the, the level of the person. So that's a really nice one. I actually like that one a lot. Uh, one question that you guys may have is regarding the troop loadout. Um, so if you're starting it off, the troop loadout feature will unlock at headquarters, uh, at gunboat level 10. It will be going by gunboat level, not by headquarters level. If you level up your gunboat, then you're going to be getting more troop loads out of loadouts available. You're going to be starting up with two at level 10. Um, if you level up your gunboat to level 13, you're going to be getting the third one. Uh, gunboat level 16, gunboat level 19, and gunboat level 21 is where you're going to be getting these loadouts. So that's very interesting. Uh, this one's pretty obvious. Uh, friendly battles. If you do a friendly battle, you are not going to be losing any troops whatsoever. That means you can do battles on and you can keep on doing battles. I'll actually demonstrate it for you guys right now on this uh, base we're going to be attacking. So right now, uh, hopefully you will be losing some units just like that. Uh, let's 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 kill our own units. Wow, I'm such I'm such a I'm such a bad leader. So we're gonna retreat because obviously we're not gonna be taking down this base, and then you guys will be able to see that you are keeping knocked out over here. 43 riflemen. You are keeping all of your troops just like you had before. That is amazing. I actually really like that one. And then last but not least. The Cryoneer is going to be unlocking at headquarters level 20. Be sure to take that into consideration. It's a high-end troop. It's a support unit that uh, basically supports certain troop combinations. Uh, so be sure to take that into consideration. I know it's kind of a high level, but it should motivate you to actually make your way up there. And that's going to be doing it. That is all of the sneak peeks for this upcoming Boom Beach update. I hope that you guys are excited for this. I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section down below. What is your favorite feature? What are you going to be having the most fun with? Um, yeah, if you guys got any feedback, of course, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. Is there any specific type of video you guys would like to see with this new update uh, coming into the works? I would also love to hear that from you guys in the comment section down below. And with that being said, I just want to say thank you guys so much for your attention. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure if you guys like this video, to boom give it a thumbs up that being said this has been reverse for boom beach i'm gonna be signing off and i'll see you guys in the next one